Hey, quick announcement everybody, before jumping in with the video, there's just a few more days until our giveaway is over. If you didn't get a chance to check it out, go ahead and follow the links down below to get a chance at winning the game of your choice. Again, this was organized in partnership with Instant Gaming, who is also running a Merry Christmas event. Each day there's going to be extra discounts to games, and for example, yesterday we had an extra discount to Sekiro, we also had other games like Grand Theft Auto V, Civilization VI, and yeah, quite a lot of them, go ahead and check out out the links in the description if you want to get some really awesome discounts. So there's tons of ways to farm legendaries in the new DLC, of course we talked about a few of these in yesterday's video, including the one with the end boss. You can pretty much go in, farm him, and then there's going to be a door that opens up behind him that gives you access to a really nice stash of goodies, including a ton of cash on the ground, a lot of chests that you can open that can definitely spawn some legendaries, and even some iridium chests that you can get over there. So a really nice condensed area that you can repeatedly farm over and over again to get a ton of legendaries there is, but these are not the only ones in the game. In fact, there's ones that are even better than this and I'm going to show you how you can do this without ever using the reload tactic. You can just go in and repeat farm the same bosses again and again without ever having to reload. You can pretty much call this an infinite legendary farm method. So yeah, let's just jump in it and if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up on it would definitely help me a lot. Now, I'm not entirely certain who was the first person who posted about this method, but I'm going to give a huge shout out to to Shadowwalker96 over on Reddit, who was the one that I saw posting about this a few hours ago. So uh, this method involves basically respawning bosses without actually having to reload your save file, and all you actually need to do is to leave the areas. There's uh, two bosses that this currently works on, and these are of course Scrap Trap Prime and the second one, Freddy the Traitor. So these are the two bosses that currently I have found working with this method. In the case of Freddy, he spawns in the VIP tower, and he is actually really close to the spawn point as well as to the fast travel area. In fact, this entire area is pretty condensed and all you need to do here is to clear out the loader bot and then he will spawn. He will start spawning with his loader bot as well and you can go ahead, take him down and as soon as he dies and drops his loot, you can just go into your map and teleport to the initial spawn point and once you make your way back to the area, he is going to instantly spawn again. Now the cool part about this is that once once you kill him the first time, the subsequent times when you get into the area, he is going to instantly spawn without you having to actually clear the area of enemies. And this pretty much is going to simplify your farming method so you can go in and, uh, well, farm him over and over again until you pretty much fill the entire area with legendaries. In this case, this is the result of about 10 to 15 minutes of farming and as you can see there's a ton of legendaries on the ground and even more that I took into my bag. So, quite a lot of legendaries that he can drop, including of course the auto-aim, but he can also drop class mods and it seems that other items from the entire pool of new items can also drop from him. So this is quite a good farming method if you want to just go in and uh, farm the new items in the game, especially if you're looking for the best anointments. Now if you also want to fully maximize your run and get as many legendaries as possible, you can also take down Loco Chantel on your way towards Freddy as he spawns right here on the right side from this door. He is also part of the mayor challenge but most important he has a high chance to drop the new Kim rocket launcher and this rocket launcher is actually quite powerful I covered it a bit in the previous video but I'm going to make a dedicated video about this as well as other very powerful weapons that can uh, be found in the moxie DLC now as far as the scrap trap boss goes the method is a little bit more different because you don't actually have a teleport point that you can use in order to teleport outside of the spawn point area instead what you will have to do is to manually walk outside it once once you kill the boss, but uh, it's actually really damn simple, so just go in, take down the nest, and finish off all the waves of enemies up until the boss actually spawns. Once he does, take him down, he will uh, actually drop his loot, and then once he is down, you can uh, make your way towards the end of the area on the opposite side of where you came from, and here is where you will find this ledge. Be mindful of your steps, don't jump outside, just jump on this small ledge right here, as this will both put you outside of the area, as 
well as giving you the possibility to actually jump back up otherwise you're going to have to fully backtrack your entire steps all the way back to the boss spawn point but once you are back up in the area you're going to see the nest spawning once more and once you take down the nest you are going to see scrap trap prime spawning again and uh, this method works an infinite amount of times i uh, actually managed to do this continuously for at least about half an hour now if for some reason you don't see the nest spawning as soon as you jump back into the area all you need to do is to actually go back on the same ledge wait for a couple of seconds and only then jump in it seems that if you do this too fast sometimes the nest might not be spawning so you kind of have to wait a couple of seconds over there at the bottom and only then get back into the area but again uh, it's really simple it's only a couple of seconds and uh, this is by far the best farming method currently in the game both of these bosses can actually drop some really awesome stuff in the case of scrap trap prime for example he can drop the lucky seven which is a really powerful jacob's pistol so definitely some really awesome one you can farm him again and again and uh, try to get the best anointed skill for him as possible now i did go ahead and test this out with the other bosses in the moxie dlc as well for example in the case of fabricator and the last boss um unfortunately for these it didn't work in the case of the fabricator there is only one area his arena in which you fight him and that is pretty much it there's no escape you cannot exit it and unfortunately there's no other way to uh, actually do this without actually having to quit into the main menu and then reload your save file so that was the only method that uh, actually worked for this boss but fortunately enough since he is uh, really close to the spawn point um, it's actually really easy it's basically grave ward 2.0 as in you can just reload your save file and then jump in the arena and start fighting him again as he doesn't really have anything too special you can uh, pretty much use that corrosive damage to instantly take him down as well as the loader bots that he gets to spawn and the beauty about this is that he actually drops a really powerful weapon in this case he heavily favors the ion cannon which is an extremely powerful heavy weapon um, that deals a ton of damage I mean I've seen a dealing as high as 1 million and that is without actually having uh, anything buffed to him so definitely very powerful I also got one with a face cast 250% weapon damage increase so uh, this is going to be absolutely insane on my Amara build this uh, is already absolutely crazy and I managed to get one with the 250% bonus damage on it after using face cast so yeah it's going to be absolutely insane in the case of farming the end boss the story is pretty much similar to that of the fabricator as in there's only one arena over here there's no teleport point and you can't really get out of it which means that you also cannot make the boss respawn without actually having to reload your game so yeah fortunately enough the auto save is really close to the arena so you can pretty much farm him in the same way as you do it with uh, the fabricator as in just quit into your main menu and reload your save file but otherwise I didn't uh, currently found a method for these last two bosses that respawn them without actually having to reload my save file so there's that if you do manage to find a way to do that please let me know in the comment section down below but that pretty much sums up the infinite legendary farming methods of course go ahead and try do them as fast as possible because there's a high chance that gearbox is going to apply a fix really really soon to this hopefully it's not going to happen I mean it's the Christmas holidays so there's a small chance that they might not fix this until the holidays are over but uh, yeah don't hold your hopes too high fingers crossed but let me know down below in the comment section how are you finding the legendary drops in the new moxie dlc and even better what is your favorite weapon or item that has been added in the new dlc in the meantime if you enjoyed this video as always don't forget to comment like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and peace